Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, MP here. Um, just been working on a little element that's called PFE Clipboard that we are releasing to Patternfly Elements. And uh, in this video, we'll take a look at it and we'll see all the little different features and talk about how to add it to a site, um, all that good stuff. So if you take a look at uh, patternflyelements.com, which you should definitely be doing, um, it gives you a little overview of all the different elements that we have right now. And one of them is uh, PFE Clipboard, pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it's just like a little copy to the clipboard. You, you see them a lot on article pages. Um, it's a it's a really nice way to uh, save the user some time from going up into the URL bar and hitting copy and paste um, or, or hitting copy. So if we take a look at the demo, we see some different copy of the clipboards. Um, you click on them, they change to a copied state, they have icons, they don't have icons. Um, and if we open up a new tab and we hit paste, as you can see, it pasted in that URL that we were on. Pretty cool. So let's take a look at the demo and see what are the different options there are for this element. Cause what's a web component without options, right? Um, so if you clipboard, you need it to be um, tabbable um, so that you could get to it uh, via uh, keyboard. So we recommend putting in those those roles on it just just by default here. So this is the default functionality here. You just drop it on a page. PFE clipboard. You see the text. You see the icon. It has a copy of the clipboard functionality. Um, we wanted that really default out of the box experience to be nice. Um, but of course you can override lots of stuff about this element. Um, and to illustrate us walking through these, um, examples and, and the flexibility of them, um, I have, I downloaded the tailwind starter blog, um, just as an example of how you could put this on your, uh, website. So let's say that you had a blog that looks just like this. Um, every time the user came to the blog, you would like to have um, a little copy of the clipboard um, icon there. So let's take a look at how to add that using the new PFE clipboard element. So just taking a look at the files, as you can see, uh, it's just a index.html. I have a scripts file. Um, it's, it's just using a tailwind markup, tailwind CSS. Um, so we need to specify the new packages, of course. So in our package.json, um, in our dependencies, I have a few pattern fly elements as dependencies. One of them is uh, pattern fly slash PFE clipboard. So this is gonna be released um, very soon. It's not on NPM yet, um, but it soon will be. So you'll uh, bring it into your project by using the PFE clipboard. Um, and it's, it's probably going to be a 1.2 version. So once you have that um, in your uh, node modules or loading it however um, you need to, uh, your, your choice of bundling, um, you want to, of course, specify uh, PFE clipboard. And if you would like to incorporate PFE icon, because we're going to change the icon, you can um, also specify PFE icon there too. So let us add this element to our page, shall we? Let's see where best to add it. Uh, probably right under this published, I would imagine. So maybe underneath right above where it says post content here, I'm going to add it right there. Hit save. And just like that, the entire experience is on there. We have the copy of the clipboard. I can hit it. It says copied. If I paste it, there you go. Um, totally works out of the box as expected. Um, let's cut, let's actually customize this a little bit using some of the tailwind stuff. So with tailwind, you can add a class here, I believe that just makes the, uh, the fonts, um, match up with the rest of the um, the blog here. So that looks a little bit better. So let's, let's take a look at our options. 
Okay, so we can optionally hide the icon. Um, there is a Boolean attribute called no icon. So if we didn't want that icon, we could put no icon on there and it's just a button um, that we can control. So um, that's cool. We can also override the link text. So there are three different slots that we can override. There's text, there's uh, text success, and there's the actual icon that we can override. So let's override the text and see what that looks like. So we're gonna change it from copy URL to clipboard or copy URL to, hey you, copy this URL, click it, it's copied, it still works. Um, I'm gonna remove this new icon to get our icon back. Okay, so now we can have our icon, so that looks nice. Let's override the success text. Let's spice it up a little bit. Um, to override the, the copied state, the text that's uh, in the state of whenever you hit copy and it enters the copied state, that's called uh, text uh, dash dash success. And we're gonna specify uh, uh, URL copied to the clipboard. Hey, that's starting to look really, really nice. Um, Let's actually, let's override the icon as well. So that's, this is what I'm talking about. Um, why we also specified PFE icon. Uh, it, it works nice with PFE icon as well. What you do is you use a PFE icon of choice and you add the slot um, attribute that has the value of icon. So it knows to override that icon slot. Um, in this case, we're just using the, the web global um, globe icon see what that looks like so it just looks like the old school web icon um, and it all works as you can see the the colors the fill um, is aligned with whatever fill color you had um, uh, on the on the default link so that that looks really nice let's see what else we have here yep so overriding all the slots which we just did oh okay so the the actual copy duration so by default, it um, has a three second timeout. So it will stay in that copied state for three seconds, but we can specify that. We can override it to say, let's say five seconds. And it'll stay in that copied state for five seconds. Um, if you didn't want it at all, for whatever reason, you could change it to zero. So moving on from copy duration, we talked a little bit about accessibility, just saying that it works like an icon or works like a button, um, specifies the slots that we, that we talked about, um, the, the two different Booleans. Uh, and then we have a lot of um, variable hooks. So like I said, we could, we could change, let's say the PFE icon color. I want to change that to some cool color like red. We could specify that there. Or if let's say that we wanted to change the padding of the button for some reason here, we could say 0.3M or something crazy like that. So it's a little, it's a little smaller there. Um, so those are some variables that you can tap into. Um, we also have events. Um, so there is an event that uh, bubbles up from the clipboard whenever an action of the copy URL takes place. Um, so if you need to tie into that with any um, global listeners, um, analytics tracking, um, or uh, front end applications um, that need to know about that, there will be an event that bubbles up that, uh, that we can tie into. So if I, in the document, add documents. Uh, body add event listener. Uh, for the 
PFE clipboard copied event. And we're just going to log that out. Oops. We can see that custom event come through. Um, and it should have in the detail, it has the, the URL that uh, we just copied. So that's pretty handy. So a really nice uh, feature about this component is we expose the, the main functionality of this component, which is the copying the URL to the clipboard, that, that um, little piece um, of functionality. We expose that as an API, a method that you can call from outside um, this component. So from like a higher order component or just um, a piece of JavaScript that you have in your application. So let's say that um, you wanted the the uh, functionality of copy copying the URL to the clipboard, but you wanted to handle the the entire UI yourself. What you could do is add this element to your uh, to your application. So I'm going to put this in my blog, but I'm actually going to hide it. Let's say. So it's not there, but what I'm going to do is say, let's say uh, document query selector. And we're going to say anytime I, I click on an H1, what we're going to do is first query for the PFE clipboard element. Once it's there, what I can do is call the copy to the clipboard function, which will return a promise of then we have a URL that we have access to. So what we can do is say like alert uh, URL or alert you copied the URL and print the URL in there. We'll do a dot then, or we could do a catch and say we're going to console.error the error message. Um, so we click the H1 and even though our PFE clipboard element is hidden, the functionality is still there. So um, that's useful as well. So how does it um, actually copy the URL to the clipboard? Um, what we've done is bake in two um, methods of, of uh, doing that. So it's, it's based on whatever your browser is capable of doing. Um, the way that we've always done it is through this uh, exec command copy technique. And I've linked to uh, the example of, of what that looks like. Um, and, and that definitely works, but that has been deprecated. So they would like you to use the new um, navigator uh, API and access the clipboard that way. So if your browser supports the new navigator API, it will use that. Um, if not, it will try to fall back to uh, exec command. Um, if that doesn't work, then um, you will see uh, a little error that you can you know, display to your users. You got a really old browser, sorry. Um, so that is, uh, yeah, that's PFE Clipboard. It's, uh, it's a little, little fun little um, interaction that you can add to your, to your website easily. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. AMP hey, on uh, the Twitters, and uh, we'll check you later.